Say goodbye. Birthdays. All aboard, don't be late for children's BBC One. Starting every day at 3.25 with play days. Stop. See you soon. Bye. Right, it's magic trick time. Have you ever heard of a four-sided card? Because this is it. Look, on one side it says one, on this side it says four. Yeah, on this side it says three, and on this side it says six. Four sides to a card. Uh, I think you've already worked out how it's done, and I'll tell you. Look, it's got a special card, and wherever you put your hand, it changes the value of the card. For instance, if I put my hand there, it says one, and if I put my hand there, it looks like a three. And on the other side, if I put my hand there, it looks like a four, doesn't it? Doesn't that look like a four? And if I put my hand uh, there, that's right, it looks like a six. Yeah, what surprises me is how come there's a three there? very confusing and what's even more strange is that there's actually a six there so if there's six there and a three there how on earth can there be an eight on that side very confusing i don't know here's the pink panther he's a one and only truly original pepper pink from head to toes yeah he's a one and only truly original Yes, well that's it from me, Dominic Wood, for BBC One, but don't go anywhere, because you're going to join me over on BBC Two in a moment, when you can see Tunatics, the magical adventures of Quasimodo, and don't forget, our grand finale was Grant and Sarah. Yes, it's fully booked with more the Cow as well. Now it's time to go over to BBC Two, and I'm going to use this cricket bat to hit us right over there to BBC Two. So ready? I can see it coming. Here it is. Hup, bye! <laughs> He's on the move. A spotless train arrives at a spotless platform, spot on time. But in the land of the rising sun... By dressing as English punks or American rockers, these young Japanese can be outrageous and blame it on somebody else. Things aren't always what they seem. See, I'm in Holland, but I'm also in Japan. Four million Japanese come here every year to see what life in Europe is really like. Full Circle with Michael Palin continues tonight at 8 on BBC One. On the night of the 1st of May 1997, the Conservative Party suffered its most catastrophic electoral defeat of the century. What was it that had shattered its reputation for consistency and competence? Was it something that had occurred in the seven years since Mrs. Thatcher had been deposed? Or was it something that had been accumulated since they first became the party of government in 1922? Alan Clark presents his view of the history of the Tory party. She was a complete outsider. 50 to 1 at Ladbroke. Starting tonight at 8.30 on BBC Two. It's been marvellous. They've done wonders.
Now on BBC One at half past eight this Sunday morning, Breakfast with Frost.